I can't believe it. It actually happened. Me of all people. I went out on a date with the Karen. What up, AOK -OK Mafia? It's your boy Arden Kicks it just like that. We back with another one. All right, y'all. So I wanted to put this video on the Different Perspective channel. Um, hello, Different Perspective channel, because I'm putting this video up on there too, because this is a conversation about self. And when I say self, I mean this person. <laughs> they need a reality check, man. Look, before we get into this video, before we dive into this video, this story time, because yes, I did go out on a date with the Karen the other day. Uh, I kind of knew that she was going to be a Karen the whole time. Like I said, we're going to get into this. I'm going to break it all down for y'all. <laughs> I'm still just tripping, y'all. I'm still tripping because I haven't had an encounter with an actual Karen since before they were called Karens. <laughs> and I do so, I've done maybe 80 videos on Karens. Like 80 of them. And here I am starting the year off and I go out on a date with a Karen. Great. Awesome. Fantastic. I'm ready to move forward though. <laughs> so, before I get into the story, let's talk about the characteristics and the traits of Karens, okay? Let's do that so that we know what to look for and uh, what to stay away from when we're dealing with these type of people. So, one of the characteristics of a Karen is number one, is entitlement. Yep, y'all know I had to say it. Y'all know I had to say it because y'all know entitlement is a big one amongst these Karens. Attitude. They all be having some nasty attitudes and a lot of it coincides with their entitlement. Anger issues. Woo! We see some of the worst of the worst Karens on this channel snap off for no good of reason and mental health issues. Some of them, some of them, yes, we have covered some of them as well that have mental health issues, which is part of the reason why they lash out in the way that they do and they respond to people in a way that they do. But um, there's so many more. I had a laundry list of um, characteristics and traits of Karens. I should have wrote them all down. I know I had like eight to 10. I just gave y'all four, but I got more. I got more and maybe they'll come up through the rest of this video. <laughs> but man, this woman had them all and more. <laughs> oh, my, I'm still just tripping. I, 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 I just can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Oh man, I, I went out on a date with a Karen. Wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Now, so let's start from the beginning. When I met this woman, I met her New Year's Day. It was a little small get together with some other content creator friends of mine. It was about maybe six or seven of us in the house, just bringing in the New Year's uh, together. And I was like, you know what? I actually put off going and hanging out with one friend um, to go hang out with this other group because I thought about last year. I brought in the New Year with these same people last year. I met some dope people. Jessica, shout out to my homegirl, Jessica Murphy. She ended up being one of my closest friends. I was like, you know what? That could happen again. So let me go ahead and hang out with these people and bring in a new year right. So I went out there and just vibing, just cooling. It was a good time, you know, just chilling, relaxing. And then I met this girl there. And I didn't think much of it. You know, I thought she was cute. Don't get me wrong. She definitely caught my attention. And we just kind of vibe. You know, it was kind of like a cool little chill vibe. So she um we took each other contact she she asked me for my instagram and then she took my phone and uh put her number in it which i thought was cool and then you know after that we spoke every day up to yesterday today is the 14th thursday which y'all know what that means y'all getting a thirsty thursday video later on today but today is the 14th thursday and yeah yesterday was like the last day that i've spoken to her uh but yeah we spoke every day up to yesterday and the first thing seemed kind of cool. I saw, don't get me wrong, I saw some red flags in the first day that I spoke to her on the phone, the very, very first day. And those red flags continued to trickle on every single day I spoke to this woman on the phone. Neither her or I really care for text messaging much, which is part of the reason why I don't get to respond to a lot of you guys, because that's still text messaging to me. I don't do a lot of texting. Um, <laughs> So we were just talking on the phone and FaceTime. I'm laughing because like all this stuff is about to play out for you guys. And it's just going to be like, y'all going to trip out. I promise y'all going to trip out. So we would just talk on the phone, FaceTime. And most of the time, if we're not just talking regularly, but I would always catch some things from her that was just very, very unnecessary. She would say things in a way that would just have you like, 
wait a minute what like did that just happen did she just say that that way or what's going on here another issue that karen's tend to have see i told y'all i was gonna come up with some more i definitely got some more another issue that karen tend to have is they think you understand what's going on in their head so prime example and this is this is something that she would do quite often and this is one of the red flags that i picked up on from the very beginning right so she was talking to me about content right she's a singer she's an actress she do all this type of stuff so she was telling me about the equipment that she's using and the stuff that she's looking to get so she went to talk about the computer the software the camera and all this type of stuff so i'm like okay so i'm engaging in that conversation with her so i'm asking her okay what kind of camera it is you want to get she's like well i'm not 100 percent sure yet blah 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 blah. i don't want to spend a whole lot of money then i proceed to ask her I'm like, okay then so what's your price range now in my mind i'm trying to help her figure this thing out maybe i can give her some suggestions based upon her price range that will you know make this whole thing a lot easier for her but no her response when I asked her what her price range was, was I don't know what my price range is. I haven't, I'm not trying to oh, look, I'm not focused on getting the camera right now. I'm trying to go in order. She's like, I'm getting, I'm dealing with the computer stuff first and then the software, this, that, and then I'll probably get somebody to let me borrow a camera, which is like, I'll probably get a college professor or somebody to let me borrow a camera and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, why the heck did she have to burst out with that much attitude like that? that uh, I thought that was very unnecessary, but that was one of the first red flags that I saw from her. I'm like, okay, she has this snappy attitude that was so Karen-like, but okay, on to the next thing. So um, later on that same day, I was talking to her even more about the content side of stuff. So she was asking me a question. She asked me what type of software and stuff do I use? And I told her what I use. And I told her that I was trying to go the route of using Adobe Premiere, but it was confusing to me. So I kind of just gave up on it. And in the midst of telling her that, she cut me off and she was like, well, you do know I went to school for media production, right? And I got a degree in media production, right? And I told her, I was like, wait a minute, what? How am I supposed to know that we never had that conversation? And that's another trait from Karen's too, is they tend to think they said something that they didn't say. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, what is happening here? What is, what is happening here? This woman really is just, just, I, wow. I've never experienced anything like this. This is brand new to me. This is crazy. Is she crazy or a narcissist? or just the Karen, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. But it was, it was mind blowing to me. So when I'm, you know, further in the conversation telling her, you know, some of the troubles and stuff that I had with using that software, she's like, look, I know how to use it. I'm like, whoa. I'm like, what's wrong with you? She's like, I can teach you how to use it. I'm like, why, what's with all this anger and aggression? I'm just simply telling you I didn't use the software. I used something else why are you talking this way like what the hell <laughs> it made no sense to me you guys so mind you this happened every single time i talk to this woman on the phone every single time i hope she's watching this video i hope she sees this video so she can learn some things about herself that she need to work on now i'm over here thinking uh maybe maybe this is just how she is over the phone maybe she'll be di different in person but it was a part of me deep down inside just knew that that wasn't going to be the case, right? So I'm going to get to the date, but let's talk about some more of these scenarios because I literally got receipts stored up here for every conversation that we had on the telephone and every time she snapped off on me, uncalled for, unsolicited, just for no apparent reason, just anger, just, <laughs> just anger out of nowhere. You know, another thing too, another trait. Remember, I told y'all there was like eight or ten of these things that I told y'all four in the beginning, but I'm adding more to them. Patience. A lot of times, Karens do not have patience for people, and this female most certainly lacked a whole lot of patience. Mind you, you guys, y'all know me. Y'all know your boy Art and Kicks. I get along with just about everyone, and I have tremendous patience for people. But this individual, I got this much patience for. <laughs> Zero. None. I had some, you know, said I tried to give people the benefit of the doubt, you know, to, to show, you know, who they really are. Usually they do that in the beginning. Sometimes some people, you know, it, it take a while, take a while, you know what I'm saying? But when they show you in the beginning, steer away, steer away. Uh, so, <laughs> Whoa, this is crazy. All right. So 
mind you, I called other females <laughs> to make sure that I wasn't tripping. I would just tell them some of the scenarios and they're like, oh my God, like this sounds so frustrating. She's like, she, I know she frustrated the hell out of you. It's frustrating me just listening to you talk about her, man. I'm like, okay, I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping. So another incident too, like she was telling me um, that she was going to go film a skit, film a skit. I was actually supposed to film a skit too yesterday and I was going to film a skit with one of the people that she was talking about. But so let me ask y'all this question. I'm going to set it up for you, how she set it up for me. So she was like, and I'm going to change the names too to, you know, to protect folks. She was like, Wednesday, I'm supposed to go film a skit with David and this other guy. Boom. I just set that up. In your mind, what did I just tell you? She said she was going to go film a skit with David and this other guy, right? In my mind, what I heard is she's going to do a video with two people. There's going to be two people other than herself in this video, right? That's what y'all got out of it, right? I talked to other people about it, and that's exactly what they got out of it as well. But that's not what she meant. So as I'm asking her questions about the skit that she's doing, she gets irate and angry and upset with me. She was like, no, I'm filming two separate skits, one with David and one with this other guy. I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. Seriously? How am I supposed to <laughs> expect to know that if that's not how you worded it? You, What she should have said was, yeah, I'm filming two separate videos tomorrow, one with David and one with this other guy. Instead of I'm filming a skit tomorrow or I'm filming, I'm doing a shoot tomorrow, video shoot, or one with David and this other guy. She put it together. She merged it together to make it seem as though she was talking about one video with two people instead of two videos with two separate people. And she would do that a lot. She would do that a lot. She would say stuff and in her mind, it makes sense. She's pieced it together in her head and is, is all right, cool, you, you understood what I meant, but in reality, that's not exactly what it was. This person most certainly needed a reality check. Yeah, I gotta think. My profession, what I do right here on YouTube, what pays me, what I do well, what has grown this channel so astronomically well and fast is the fact that I am a good listener and I respond accordingly. If you are upset by the way that I am responding to what it is that you are saying that has 100% to do with you and not a damn thing to do with me. Y'all, it's very, very rare that I can come across someone that is grown, is a grown adult, and we can't have some civil conversation where an argument doesn't erupt every single time we talk to each other. I'm like, what the... All right, so let's get to the date. <laughs> I know that's what you guys are waiting for. Let's get to the date. Ugh. So mind you, something happened before I got to this date and I took it as a sign and I'm laughing the whole time it's happening too. So I call her up. Oh, no, no, no. So, whoa, whoa, we gotta go back. We gotta go back. <laughs> we gotta go back, bro. We gotta go back. So I remember well, we're trying to figure out where it was that we we're going to go. And I had a suggestion for somewhere to go. And she didn't make it very clear that she didn't really care to go to that place. At first, she made it sound like she was interested in going to that place. And then after that, she was like, yeah, nah, I don't really want to go there. But then, you know, on the way to go meet with her, she was kind of insinuating that she wanted to go to a different place, which was something that I didn't care for. So I was like, no, that's out of the question. Um, but at the same time, you know what? Let me check out that menu. I can compromise because I did say I wanted to start dabbling in that type of dish, which is seafood, by the way. I'm not a seafood eater. So on the way to pick her up, I call her up. And she tells me, she's like, hey, it turns out that place that I wanted to go to was closed. I'm like, all right, cool. So we can go to the place that I was talking about. And then she just snapped off of me. She was like, I don't want that. I told you I don't want that. I was like, whoa, what? You never told me you didn't want that. She was like, yes, I did. Last time you suggested it, I told you I didn't want that. Mind you guys, I suggested that in a text message. I can show you the receipts. I went back immediately after she said that to look at the text to see where she said she didn't want that. And it was not there because she never said that. I wouldn't have brought it up again had she told me she didn't want it or she wasn't interested in eating that type of dish. I was like, 
yeah, this chick got some issues. Ooh, this is bad. This is, no dude in his right mind would put up with something like this. No, there's not a single guy, it don't matter how cute she is, a guy in his right mind, an alpha male like myself, would not put up with this mess. So I tried to call her today to tell her that. <laughs> I tried to call her this morning, to right after I got done meditating. I literally went to my phone, picked it up, tried to call her. She hasn't answered yet. I'm surprised she hasn't called me back. She's usually calling me all damn day, but uh, or throughout the day, every day, basically. Not all day, but, you know, every day. And I know she's off today. I was trying to call her to set her straight and just tell her, hey, look, you and I, this ain't going to work. You got some serious anger issues and some serious attitude that you need to check. You got to get that situated because, whoo, you wanted to, whoa, I've never came across a woman that had this much attitude like this. Unnecessary, uncalled for, unasked for attitude. It was absolutely baffling to me. I couldn't believe it. And if she would have been like, all right, then let's just be friends. Y'all, I ain't never in my life had to tell somebody I didn't want to be their friend. Never, but this one, whoa, this would definitely be one of those cases. Most certainly, I'm like, yo, this is, I'm still tripping, y'all. I am still tripping. So, I told y'all the part I wanted to tell y'all. Now, let's get to the actual date. So, I'm driving to her um, after she blew up on me about telling me that she told me that she didn't want to eat that food when she never did tell me that. So, I'm driving to her. I get to her exit, and I realize I didn't have my wallet on me. So, I called her up. I'm, I'm over here thinking she probably think I'm a bail on this date. So I, I called her back. I was like, hey, I just realized I don't have my wallet. Let me turn around and go get it, and I'll be right back. She was like, oh, by the time you get here, the, the restaurant's going to be closed. So like She always had something super, super smart to say, right? So I turn around. I go back home. As I'm driving back home, I just can't help but to think, yo, my wallet being at home is a sign that I need to keep my ass at home. <laughs> I was like, yo, what the hell? Like, I never not have my wallet on me, especially going to a date. I would make sure that I'm all the way checked off. Before I walk out the door, I got everything I need. But instead, all I could think about was I know that when I get to this restaurant with this woman, we're going to argue about something. And that's exactly what happened. Probably 80% of that date was just an argument. I get down to her place, right, to pick her up. Mind you, I like the little area that she lived in. Nice area is like one of those, it's almost like that super city vibe. Like you live in a city and then you got shops down at the bottom and these um, three or four stories of apartments above the shop. And it's like a new area too. Um, so I get there to go pick her up. I'm waiting outside of her place for her to come down the stairs. So I just get out the car and I'm walking around just seeing what was in the area because I'd never been over there before. She gets out the door and she walks out and she's like, which one of these cars are yours? And I point to which one is mine. She walks to the car and then she yells out to me, why aren't you in your car? Excuse me? I laughed it off. I'm like, she clearly doesn't use this. She doesn't use her brain because if she was a thinker, she would have maybe came up with a conclusion that, oh, maybe he's just checking out the area, you know, checking out the scenery. But she doesn't use this the way she thinks she does. That was, hey, that's the what? The ninth, tenth thing about with Karen's? They're not as smart as they think they are. Some of them have a degree of intelligence, but what they tend to do is combine it with a much larger degree of ignorance which is what she would do. She would combine, she would merge her intelligence with her ignorance. And that makes you come off as stupid. It makes you come off as more dumb when you combine smarts with ignorance instead of just being smart and being a logical thinker and being a forward moving thinker and, and not dwelling on the past and, and bringing that so deep into the future. So I, I made that statement right there. Remember that because when we get into this story, you gonna see why I made that statement. So we end the story, but you know, let's go to the date. So I drive her to the restaurant. We had to decide on eating something else. We went to Cheesecake Factory. So we get to Cheesecake Factory. Oh man, we order our food, whatnot. And as we're sitting there talking, having a conversation, whatever, I don't even remember what the conversation was about until we got to the conversation that led to an argument. So, <laughs> I don't know about y'all, if you've ever argued out in public, 
Like, I don't care about no one else that's around. I don't care if you hear me. I'm not someone that cares about getting embarrassed. You know, I'm if I want to yell at you, I'm going I'm to yell at you. We were so zoned in to one another that it didn't matter. People could have been listening to us the whole time we were there. It didn't matter to us. And that's how I am with anybody that I'm with. Like, I've dated other girls before where we might have, you know, got our rate and loud it and got loud in public and we didn't care. But anyway, so we sitting there and then she sees this couple to my left and to her right, because we're sitting across from each other. She sees this couple that's sitting at this center table, this round table. Um, it's kind of like a bar stool type table because the chair sit up higher. And they're in a racial. It was a white dude. Was it a white dude? No, black guy, white woman. And I see her looking over at them. You know what I'm saying? She's looking at them, giving them an eye. Mind you, the girl I'm on a date with, the Karen, she's black. She's African-American woman. She's giving them the eye or whatever. And then she looks over at me. She's like, oh, and I feel some type of way about interracial couples. I'm like, oh, snap. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. So, so I'm like, okay, what you mean? She's like, all right, so think about this whole thing. She's like, because of the state of our nation with the riot at the at the Capitol and then the Black Lives Matter movement and how there was clear differences in how those two groups were being treated. She was like, clearly systemic racism is still a major issue in this planet and in, 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 in society and all this type of stuff in America. And I'm over here thinking to myself, I'm like, yes, it always has been and always will be to some degree. It, it probably always will be. Um, you know, I'm thinking that in my head, I'm just letting her talk, you know, I'm just letting her talk, get it out, voice her emotions, voice her opinions and whatnot. And then she kind of just turned it and put it into a different direction. She was like, okay, so tell me why she was like, this is, she was like, I get that people want to, you know, date whoever they want this, that, and the fourth. But when you look at history and, and all this type of stuff, white women from years ago, <clears throat> She, she was like white women from the 50s and 60s or whatever they might have saw a black man or the 40s 20s whatever they might have saw a black man they wanted the black man they wanted to sleep with the black man and then after they slept with the black man they would they would yell rape and now this black man is, is getting lynched or this down the fourth she was like but don't don't these guys know that don't these guys know that i'm like she's living in the past like she's acting as though everyone is still racist and i had to set her straight a little bit i'm like um you do know that you sound racist, right? She's like, yeah, but I'm not racist. She's like, I love everybody. She's like, I would never date a, a white man or anything. She's like, I might think that they're attractive, but I'm so pro-black men. I'm so pro-black men, but I want to know why black men that don't date black women, that only date white women or any other nationality outside of black women, why is it that they're choosing to not date black women? Why is it that they're shitty on them why is it that they're um, pushing them to the side or giving up on them while white black women will never give up on their black men they'll fight for them to the end they will stand by their side when they're at their lowest but why is it that black men won't do that for black women and i'm over here thinking <laughs> why is she focused on men that don't want her <laughs> that's like, like that's the most important thing to me and i asked her that i'm like why are you focusing on men that don't want you? <laughs> well, you should only care about the men that want you. I'm like, you, why, why try to change them? You can't change nobody. And so why, why even want to have these conversations? She's like, I don't want to have the conversations with them. She's like, I don't want to. I just want to know. I just want. I don't have to sit down and talk to any one individual guy about this. Blah blah blah. But she, that whole entire argument, she contradicts herself because later on in that discussion, she would say, I want to sit down with them. I want to talk to them and I want to know why they won't date black women. What's their reason now? So I tried to tell her, I'm like, look, well, you're talking to the perfect person because me as a black man, I once didn't date or like black women at all. And I would give her a reason as to why that was. I, I was giving her my reasons and, and my opinion on it. And then on top of that, me being a black man that talked to black men, I also know many other reasons as to why certain black men will choose not to date black women. And it doesn't really matter at the end of the day because it's the exact same thing. I don't know if her bubble or, or, or circle of friends is like super, super small and they're only black, only, only African-American, but I literally have friends of every nationality and they all say the same thing. I have Asian friends that won't date Asian people for whatever reason. 
And a lot of the time, it's to be the same reason as to why black men won't date black women or whatever. I have white friends that my former roommate, Travis, he won't date white women for nothing in the world. <laughs> I got a, a, a female that I used to date that's Asian. She won't date Asian men or, or men of her ethnicity or culture because not ethnicity but her culture because of where she's from i mean literally every single thing literally every single ethnicity has reasons why they won't date their own um race but it has to do with personal experience and that's what i try to tell her too is she tried to date every personal experience as to why these men won't date black women back to slavery some of them yes heck even mine had somewhat to do with that but my personal experience derived more from the experience that I had growing up with my mother and her views on dark skin and light skin. And then also what I saw as far as attractiveness, it was all personal. This is what I mean by Karen's tend to merge intelligence with ignorance. She knows all the answers to the questions that she's asking. She knows the answers, but she wants to play dumb and act as though she doesn't know the answers, which is why she proclaims that she wants to ask. And then she also follow with saying that she wants to put that out for the world to see. She's like, I want to have this conversation online, on YouTube, Instagram, whatever. I want to have this conversation because people are not talking about it. I'm like, well, for one, sweetheart, people are talking about it. People are talking about it left and right. Then she tries to give all these different examples, which I'm about to share, to paint this negative narrative. She's a very negative person. A lot of Karens are. Oh, I think that was like, what, 11? <laughs> 11 different traits of Karens? So one of the narrative that she tried to create was um, the depiction of interracial couples in commercial TV. So like on commercial specifically, she was like, you notice how it's always a black man and a white woman It's never a white man and a black woman. She's like, you notice that? You notice that? And I'm like, for one, I don't watch a whole lot of TV. I've seen interracial couples on TV and I'm pretty sure I've seen it both ways. She was like, well, I've never seen it. I've never seen it. I'm like, okay, okay. What's the, what's the problem? What's the problem with that? So she was like, it goes back to what I was telling you. The white woman was wanting the black man. And they're okay with that. They're okay with the white woman wanting the black man. But they won't be okay with the white man wanting the black woman. You don't see that. You don't see that. Y'all know that show, um, How to Get Away with Murder? Crazy show. Really good show. It's a powerful black woman who's a college professor that's dating. Or no, she's married to a white man. There's so many different other examples of that. But at that time, I didn't care to tell her that because a lot of times when folks is fixated on a certain idea and thought, and especially you got to pay attention to their age too. She's 27, 28 years old. A lot of times after a certain age, um, 25 years old, this is something that they really talk about a lot in psychology. After the age of 25 years old, it becomes extremely difficult for people to change their ways. You know, and then, you know, not to throw this girl too far under the bus, but she also deals with mental health issues. To, I don't know what degree or what, you know, I don't know if it has to do with depression or her anger issues or her. Um, I don't know what it is exactly, but because she was telling me that she was going to go talk to a psychiatrist um, the day after our date or whatever. So uh, <laughs> let's get back to this. And on top of that because you're dealing with mental health issues, you being attacked by people is gonna be very bad for you because people will attack you. People are going to come after you and it will not be good for your mental health. And she's like, oh, no, no, I'll be all right, I'll be fine. I'm like, trust me, you will not. She's like, yes, I will. Yes, I will. There's that immaturity. I'm like, you will not. Talk about someone who has a good mental health, a positive mental health, some of that stuff still gets under my skin, but for you, it's gonna break you down. It's gonna be very bad. It gets the best of us. It gets the best of us. I told her, if you put yourself out there like that to have that kind of conversation out on the internet, woman, well, I mean, you're gonna be canceled before you even become somebody to be canceled.
Like people are going to say that you are racist. She's like, no, they won't. I'm like, yes, they will. Because you're creating a conversation to divide us instead of unite us. She's like, no, I'm not. I'm trying to, I'm doing the opposite. I'm like, that's not the opposite. That's not the opposite. To say that black men shouldn't be with white women. I'm, she's like, I'm not saying that black men shouldn't be with white women. I'm like, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Because for you to even question why they are or aren't with who they are or aren't is a reflection of just that. Separation. When in all actuality, we are human beings. We're all the exact same race, having similar experiences as every other ethnicity on this planet. We're just different shades and colors. But you're separating us and you're using past experiences of people trying to figure it out because they didn't know exactly what they were doing back then not understanding the, the similarities within us as a human race corrupted by ignorance because of their own lack of understanding. They don't have the ability, they didn't have the information that we do today to know just how similar as people of this world we are. Today we know that more and better than ever. Obviously, she is seeing people that are still ignorant to that. For one, her, she herself is. But she's seeing people that are still ignorant to the fact that we are all the same. There's just some bad seeds that tend to treat people differently. She said that she wanted to have this conversation, put it out on the internet for people to see. And I'm like, people are going to think you're racist. She's like, yeah, but I'm not. It's okay if they want to be with them. It's okay. This it's okay. I'm like, you're contradicting yourself. You can't, if you listen, y'all, if you're going to be against something, you have to fully be against it. If you, to say that you understand or that you think it's okay, that's a complete contradiction. You're either creating this fake argument if you really understand that you're creating a fake argument or you just want to have something to be angry about. And then she followed with, she, oh yeah, another thing, another thing. I think this is number 12 on characteristics of Karen's immature, immaturity. So she got to the point of the argument where she realized who she was talking to. And since she realized she couldn't win because she's, they like to win. Karen's love to win. She realized she couldn't win. She started saying phrases like, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. And I told her, I'm like, you do care. You wouldn't, have, we wouldn't be sitting here having this whole argument if you didn't care. People don't talk about things that they don't care about. Like for me, for instance, I don't care for politics. Y'all don't hear me talk about politics on this channel. I'm not gonna talk about politics because I don't care about politics. Maybe I should, but I can't change that. I, I can't change the fact that I don't care about them. You know why? Because it's like a lesson that a teacher is trying to teach you in school and you fall asleep every time they talk about it because it does not interest you. That's me in politics. That's me in politics. So what did that go to tell you? People tend not to talk about stuff that they don't too much care about. I remember I was hanging out with this chick one time and this dude walked up to me that was talking about meditating and he had this book and stuff. And then I was like, all right, whatever, cool. And so I walked away from the guy, walked back to the girl and I was like, yeah, that dude was talking about meditation. She was like, I don't care. She shut me down. She was like, she didn't want to hear about it. And I thought that was kind of like, damn, that was aggressive as hell. But at the same time, she didn't care. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She, she wasn't about to sit there and have a conversation with me about something she didn't give a damn about. You know, so I, I, I as like, it's an alpha move. That's a dope alpha move. So I kind of like, I kind of took that. I took that to heart in a good way. I was like, yo, that was dope. <laughs> but 
people tend not to talk about stuff that they really don't care about. For her to sit there and have this whole conversation with me about this thing and then to say that she didn't care at the end, that showed me immaturity. This woman was very, very immature. So after that mess, I tried to switch the conversation and it came off as me being smart, but I honestly wasn't trying to be smart. I honestly, I promise you, I promise you I wasn't trying to be smart. I was like, so let me ask you a question. And right there, she cut me off. She was like, I don't want to talk no more about this. I'm like, no, 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 look, I'm already, I'm done. I'm going to a different topic right now. But I was like, let me ask you a question. What is it that you're expecting to get from this meet that you're having with this psychiatrist tomorrow? See, it, that came off as smart, right? I was genuinely wondering what she was trying to get out of that because my reason for asking her that question and setting it up that way was to find out what issues that she feels that she's having in her life that she wants to talk about with the psychiatrist. Is it mental health? Is it depression? Is it um, freaking narcissism? Is it freaking uh, her attitude problem? I like, what is it? I didn't know. So that's why I asked her that question. I was being serious. But her response was nothing. Nothing. And I was like, okay. <laughs> there we go. In maturity. Immaturity. That was an immature response. I told her, I was like, well, clearly, that's a lie. You do have a reason for wanting to go see a psychiatrist tomorrow. So I don't wanna I don't wanna get into mental health stuff right now. I don't I don't wanna no, I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna do it. I like all right, time to go. <laughs> so I took her home. We have you know, we're talking. We're talking in the car. The conversation completely switched. We're cordial now. And that was one thing too that always happened with her and I. Like when we were just simply talking on the phone. She would snap and then she would act like nothing happened. Like, that's crazy, right? You you call people that do that crazy, right? Like when she called me yesterday to tell me about how her her video was going and act like you know what happened the day before didn't exist. I'm like, yeah, this chick crazy. She 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 she, she crazy. Yeah yeah yeah. That's what it is. That's what it is. So we get to her place and there was a a lady walking around outside she looked like she went to cvs down the street got a little snack and she's kind of just waiting by the building like she came down the stairs she couldn't get back in um so it looked like she was trying to wait for somebody um to come down and buzz her in she was waiting and so we're sitting in the car outside of her place and she was first thing she did was call this woman a karen i remember i turned my head to the left and i was laughing i was like no karen didn't just call karen a karen it was unsolicited. It was no reason for her to call her Karen. But one thing I gotta stop doing is I tend to dumb myself down to talk to people on their level. I gotta stop doing that. I gotta stop doing that. And that's something that I, I and I, I was telling other people about it too. I was like, yo, I hate that I'm doing this. I'm, I'm dumbing myself down because I'm because I know she's used to dumb people. I'm dumbing myself down to talk to this woman. Be, and because she'll even talk to me as if I was dumb and I'm over here looking like eh, girl you're the stupid one you just don't know it <laughs> I'm like you just don't know how dumb you look to me but you think you're smart think you're real smart but oh my goodness this was a mess so she's calling this female a Karen while this woman is just simply waiting to get in the building waiting for somebody to come down to bust her in it was kind of late you know they could have been up there asleep or they could have been taking a shower or whatever it was but she was like, oh, I'm not getting in the car. I don't want to go over there. She like, she she don't think I'm going to let her in because I'm going in too. I'm not doing that. I don't know that woman. And then I got to get on the elevator and get off right there on the floor. I don't want to be on the elevator with that woman. So she just kind of, and then it was a, it was a white woman too. So I'm like, oh, this chick. Man, she don't realize just how racist she makes herself look. She don't realize it. She don't realize it. It's a shame. It's a shame. Um, I'm done. I'm done with this story. I'm done with this woman. Like I said, I don't, I don't look. Mm -mm. Oh, that's another thing too. The skit that I was supposed to do yesterday, I had. I was, you know, I I felt bad. I had to tell my buddy. I was, I, I was like, yo, I can't. I can't do this video. <laughs> I can't. I, I, I had to come up with an excuse. Come up with a reason for me not going down there to do the video. And the reason was I didn't want to see this chick. She was going to be there. I did not want to see her. I don't ever want to see her again. As long as thou shalt live. 
I know. So we got we rescheduled the skit, and I hope that she's not gonna be a part of it. Um, yeah. Anyway, y'all know what time it is. You like this video? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. As always, follow your boy on the gram and Twitter at all the kicks. I will catch y'all in the next one.